So who doesn't love a campfire? They smell great, they look great, they bring people together to talk. I love a good campfire. Let's find out some of the best ways to record a campfire on video. Okay, so the first part of making a video about how to shoot a campfire is, well, you, you kind of need a campfire. So I'm gonna make a campfire, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not the best at making a campfire. I take the kids out camping, we do it a couple times a year, fantastic time. I always get a fire going, but I'm not the best at it. So let's start with that. So the family is with me on this camping trip. The kids are great little campers. They collected small items around the campsite that would burn well, and we created a burn bag. I got the fire started pretty easily. It was getting dark pretty quickly and I had to move fast because I did not want to run out of firewood. But mainly I had to move fast because, well, the kids were with me and they wanted to make some s'mores. Me too. Now, my first tip on how to make a campfire video is to be safe, of course. We're talking about fire here, people, so be careful. But the best tip I can give you is to use a tripod. You can get creative later on if you'd like with some cool handheld shots. Slow down, maybe at 125 frames or however you'd like to slow down your footage. But for now, I'm sticking to a tripod. I also have the tripod fairly low to the ground to give me a more straight on shot. But feel free to experiment. Now, I'm using the Canon SL2 DSLR for this video. It's a great little camera. It has a great touch screen that flips out when needed. The autofocus is amazing. The camera is not the most expensive one out there, and it's missing a lot of features that I would really like to have, but it does the job. The more important factor today on how to make a campfire video is the lens. It's always the lens. Today, I'm fortunate enough to be using the Canon 35mm f1.4. This thing is fantastic. The f1.4 lets in a great deal of light, so I wanted to try it out at a campfire at night. So we're gonna go over some different settings to see what the best settings for shooting a campfire video are. One of the best things about shooting a campfire is that there really are no rules. Shoot at a setting that you think is best. Do you want your flames to be crisp and sharp or do you wanna have a little bit of motion blur to your flames? It's up to you. Okay, let's start. The kids are now filled with s'mores and they're off to bed in our tent. I waited until they were asleep to start shooting this part of the video. When they're awake, it's all about hanging out with them and having fun with them. So I waited until they were asleep until I started this video. Our first shot is at ISO 100 with a shutter at 125. I am shooting at 60 frames per second so that I can slow it down later on if I want. I'm trying to get the aperture constant. So right now I'm shooting at 1.4. I'm using manual focus, so I had to be careful when shooting at ISO 100 because it's pretty dark, so getting a sharp focus can be difficult. I use the magnification button to help with the focus. It looks okay, but it's just not as sharp for my liking. Next, we move on to ISO 400 at 125 shutter. The image is a bit brighter and slightly sharper. You can also see much more details around the campfire pit with a higher ISO. Moving on to ISO 800 at shutter 125, the shot is a lot brighter, and I don't really notice much more noise in the video. The Canon SL2 has a 24 megapixel sensor, and it's an APS-C sensor. It does okay in low light, but it's not the greatest. But overall, so far, I'm pretty happy with it, considering it's not a very expensive camera. So at ISO 800, the flames still hold together pretty well, and you can see much more detail in the fire pit. I like to see the glow of the fire pit. Maybe that's just me. Next, we're at ISO 1600 at shutter 125. The shot is still holding together pretty well. There's not a lot of noise in the blacks. The flames and the fire pit are definitely glowing hotter. Now, let's go up to ISO 3200. Again, the shot is not bad. It's a bit more noisy and grainy in the shot, but it's still very usable. At ISO 6400, the video is still decent. You can see a bit more noise but I'm quite surprised how well maintained it is. I would never consider shooting at ISO 6400, so it's interesting to see how it looks like this in the dark. Now, the Canon SL2 will max out at an ISO 12800, which is pretty high. There is noticeable noise in the blacks and noise at the top of the fire pit. 
the flames themselves are pretty white and have lost most of their orangish glow. At this point I changed up the shutter a bit just to experiment. This is shot at ISO 800 with a shutter of 1 60th. When you compare it to the shot at ISO 800 with a shutter of 1 25th, you'll not notice much difference, but I think the shot at 1 60th has a bit more motion blur. Now I tried a different shot with an ISO of 3200, but I put the shutter up to 1000. The shot is noticeably darker and the flames are much more crisp. If I take a freeze frame of the two ISO 3200 shots, you can notice the shot with the shutter at 1000 is much more crisp. For me personally, I think I prefer this shot. It is the 35mm f1.4 lens with an ISO of 800 at a shutter of 125. I like it that it keeps the details in the flames. It gives me just enough light and glow in the fire pit as well. If I was to do this video again, I would have made the fire much bigger and would have lasted a bit longer. I would have also brought a light with me to light myself with a fire pit in the background. Thanks for watching. I'm going to put the camera down and just sit and enjoy this beautiful campfire on this lovely night. I'm just getting started in the YouTube world and I'm really hoping to do a bunch more video production vlogs in the future where I give some tips and look at some cool new tech. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it and subscribe if you want to. Either way, thanks for stopping by.